Hey folks, this is Aaron with Metal Detecting SC. You got Ike here with uh, Rivertown Relics. Uh, we're we're going to hunt an old schoolyard today, so stay tuned for something good. Uh, if not, uh, it's definitely be re related, you know, history to the uh, school itself. Hi right, folks, see you soon. Schoolyard. Got the Garrett AT Max, and I've come across my first signal. See if I can find it. It was ringing up an 80. And oh no, <laughs> it's aluminum. All right, folks, I'll see you something. So I'll see you soon with something better, hopefully. Hey, folks, Ike's got a coin. He says, "Let's see, Ike, what do you think you got, buddy?" Well, I'm not sure yet. It's a Lincoln penny. A Lincoln? Yep. It's. Uh, well, this will be the first. He's on the board, first time out here. It's a wheat cent. Is it a wheat cent? Yep, sure is. Can you see a date on it? Um, I can see the one cent on the back. Let me just do a little fingernail job here. Let's see. We'll kind of get a date it's range. A 53. 53. Okay, so that fits in with kind of what we're looking for. All right, well, Ike's on the board. Now it's time for me to go get on the board. <laughs> All right, folks. See you soon. All right, Ike's got something else, guys. What do you got, Ike? Sounds like another Lincoln, Lincoln, stinking Lincoln. Another stinking Lincoln. You know what? A penny is a penny, right? That's right. <laughs> Could be a wheat cent. Could be. I guess we'll see what it is. What it rang up in the 70s? No, it ring up in the 80s. Still in there? No, it's out right here. Tell you what, sometimes them pennies are elusive. <laughs> yeah. It's right here somewhere. Sure it's not still on the ground? <laughs> no, it's here. You get it? I'm not sure. That ain't no penny. What is it? It is a... <laughs> tiny little... Button? It's like a button back. Yeah. I don't know why it's ringing up so high. Well, does it got, what's it got on it? Copper. Yep, I hear it. Yeah, because it's now my machine hooked to your headphones. <laughs> That's why you hear it. Oh yeah, that is a little button back. Mm -hmm. Off a kid's coat. Man, it that's, looks like. that's a piece of history here. Yeah, at the end of the video, folks, I'll tell you a little bit about the history. Oh, hold on. You got something else? Yeah, there's something else in the hole. No sooner than I can walk away, he's got something else. This joker's on the board. I got a tin can a while ago. <laughs> I think he's found the playground. But the problem is today we both have AT Maxes and they keep uh, linking up to each other with the Z-Link. <laughs> That's all right. We'll make do. I guarantee it's probably going to be another small piece of that button. It's tiny. Oh, there it is. Penny. It is another stinking Lincoln. Well, hey, you got something. All right, Ike's still on the board, folks. I'm yet to get a coin. That's I got 68. a 68. 68. All right, that ties in line with the school. All right, folks, I'm going to get cracking on this other side over here by these trees and uh, let Ike get back to digging. All right, see y'all soon. All right. We got one here about four inches down. Let's see if we can dig it and not get skunked. Ike thinks it's a coin, but I feel something heavy there. 
concrete. <laughs> I see, let me peel this back. Yeah, let me get out the pinpointer. All right, folks, I will get right back to you. All right, guys, this is where I had a malfunction with the uh, GoPro, but I did find the penny. It was about eight inches down. Uh, back to the video. Over eight inches. Huh? She's used to digging deep stuff with that machine. No shit. Yeah, it's a deep, deep machine. It's a wheat penny, 1947. All right, folks, I got this banging little signal. 81 82 bouncing back to 77 but staying stable really 81 82 and as you can see i got down into the clay but enough of that down in the bottom of this hole we have a <laughs> oh no i thought it was a dime no i wasn't reading high enough it is a lincoln cent don't know what year i want to see if it's going to match up to the school let me scrub it off real fast the school was here till 1972. At least I think it's a penny. It's pretty wiped. 19... 1962. Ah, almost, uh, almost a foot down. All right, folks. Carrying on. All right, folks. Got a signal of 82. Looks like it's going to be here in the dirt. I'm going to have to say that it is probably a penny, but I could be wrong. No. I'll be darned. Now, see, if I wouldn't have live dug this, I would have got something, but I got a piece of junk instead. Ha <laughs> ha! Piece of copper. All right, folks. <laughs> see you soon. <sighs> How you doing over here, man? Ain't doing any good? I'm not finding much out here. Just some deep pennies. A couple some, of them. Uh, I got three wheat pennies. Yeah. And I might be digging on another one right here. Well, we'll wait and see. Some of this stuff, man, you're right. They did push the old school right over on itself. I found pipe, bars, everything in there. There was, a, um, there was a newer school. There was. Because there was an annex. You can see that there's a paved road there. Uh huh in a parking lot so yep there was an annex but the original was 1908 it's not too deep of course those make for the best target sometimes I've... you been getting much trash out here oh yeah yeah me too tons of it <laughs> But that's all part of the, the dig, man. You got to dig the junk to get to the good. Get you a penny? Yep, yeah, it's a Lincoln. A Lincoln? What year? Looks, See if it dates within the school, the original. It's copper, so that's a. The last you know Lincoln. It's a, what, the, a 80, at least an 81. Well, the last one I found was a 62. Oh, that would have been 74. 74. Yeah, I like found a, one. I've got, I've got a wheat penny that was a 47. At first, I thought it said 43. I was like, holy Christ. I got a 42. All we're looking for is that 43. <laughs> that 43, we're retiring. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't kidding, man. But yeah, folks, this is it. It's threatening like it wants a thunderstorm. I wished it would, but it ain't. It won't even give us a drop of rain. But it seems to be like everything's just concentrated in this one little area. What do you think, Ike? Yeah, I think so. I found, uh, I did find two wheat pennies over here underneath this tree. Yeah, so but I mean, as far as out, long. as far as out here, I think this probably just used to be woods because if you look, you can see the difference in the color of the grass between here and there. And also when I was digging out there, I hit the field line way faster than I did here. So nothing, I was at the plow line. There. Yeah. 
yeah so i would say more than likely that was farm field or whatever at one point in time so probably right where all this pottery and rock is is where everything's going to be concentrated all right folks i'm gonna stop blabbering my jaws the way i'm gonna let ike get back to metal detection i'm gonna rehydrate and get back myself now there's my machine over there all right folks i got something here uh dug down just two inches um uh, definitely definitely a coin i can't tell let me get out the toothbrush well i had it i must have lost it let me do a little pants rub here all right well actually yeah no I, is that a lincoln It's a wheat penny. Yep. Okay, we got another wheat. I can't tell the date on this one. I'll see if I can see it real fast to see if it matches up in line with the school. It's pretty crusted. 19... Uh, maybe a 1957. I don't know. 1927. I can't tell, folks. It's pretty crusted. All right. I'll uh, get back to you in the roundup. See you soon. Hey folks, a little history here um, about this. This was Levester Elementary School. The school, it says here, this school become the Anner Elementary School Annex in 1974. It closed in 1997. It was named for Nellie Burke Levester, 1884 to 1968, the first jeans teacher in Horry County who held that post from 1922 to 1958 which is the date range that we're finding with the coins so that fits in with that school the jane the jane's fund established in 1908 it was also called the negro royal school fund its supervising teachers were consultants for the rural teachers and the schools in their counties now this was all it was changed over to a a non-segregated school but let's see what's on the other side let's see this school was built in 1953 was one of the many african-american schools built by the equalization program of governor james Byron's, intended to preserve school segregation by building a new school for the black children students in grades one to seven who had previously attended the allen and cool springs pleasant hill and union chapel hill schools began the 1953 to 1954 school year here the last graduating class of 1969. So this this date range of coins that we're finding is fitting in with, with this school uh, as well as the button. So we're finding some things that relate to the history of the school, which is pretty cool. All right, folks, there's the history of the school. Hey, folks, it's time for the roundup now. I think we're done hunting. What do you think, Ike? You done for the day? All right, well, let's get to the roundup. Ike, you want to tell us what you got? Okay, we got four Wheaties. We got, you got a bunch, you get a dime right here. We got um, dimes, plaid dimes, yeah. Lincoln pennies. We got four Wheaties and a war nickel. A war and nickel, we got nice. Some junk over here. Right. Zipper, I see button that. backs and a rivet. Folks, here's all my trash right here. I got this. Uh, this wild link of some sorts, I don't know exactly. It's old, it's hand forged. It's either a train link or a wagon link. I'm not for sure which. Um, but definitely ties in with the railroad around here. It's a modern quarter, uh, three wheat penny, or two wheat pennies. One's a 1962 penny, uh, 1947. And what was the other year? 19. Uh, I said. 19, yeah, 56. 1956. Uh, so. Yeah, these all tie in with the uh, these all tie in with the school uh, and the history of it. So, hey, you know it, it's it's fun just getting out hunting. And uh, well, Ike, you want to say anything? It's been a great day here in South Carolina. It's hot, but we managed to get out here and do a little digging, and we may go one more place before the afternoon's over. All right, folks, you heard it from Ike. That's it for this place. Y'all have a good day. Catch you on the next video.